Hello everybody and thanks for checking out my review. Uh, today I'm going to be going over the Tag Heuer Formula One. This is the Ayrton Senna 25th Anniversary Tribute Edition. The reference number, if you wanted to look it up, it's CAZ2017.BA0647. The initial box, uh, just to open it up, is a plain black box with gray writing on the top here. There's nothing on the sides of the back. And when you open it up and slide it open, what you're going to see here is the Tag Heuer Tribute Box. And before I get into the watch, what I'm going to do is just go over what comes inside. And what does come inside is you have the Tag Heuer Manual. And it comes in all different languages. It's a nice book. And then you get a warranty card on the back. Uh, these warranty cards are now electronic, just to let you know. So you don't need a, a signature or a stamp. All that you have to do is have the dealer uh, register it online. And then Tag Heuer will honor the warranty. Uh, it comes with a tribute little booklet here. And it just goes into what comes into the model there. Reason behind it. And then getting into the box itself... Really nice display here. You, of course, have the watch, and you have this really nice signature writing here with the Senna edition. So the IRT of Senna was a Tag Heuer first brand ambassador for their Don't Crack Under the Pressure campaign back in 1991. He was one of the world's greatest race car drivers back in the day. And it's been 25 years since his passing, so this watch celebrates him with this very special limited edition. It's a really nice watch. I think it's a really nice tribute to him. It's 44 millimeter wide. The F1 features a red S for his name at the 12 o'clock, and then the Senate to its right along the ceramic. On the back of the case, it shows his helmet on the steel screw down case. I'm going to show you that in a little bit more detail in a photo, but this is what it looks like. And one of the things that attracted me most to this watch is it's a very classic S-shaped link bracelet. He actually helped to develop this version of the bracelet. But what I like about this one is with the look on it, it's a nice brushed stainless steel. It's a kind of a darker stainless steel and it's got more of a rounder look to it. This particular version has the regular clasp on it. So you just open up the clasp with the Tag Heuer logo then you open it up and it's got a dual locking system and it's also got the diver extension here so if you wanted to take this diving it is 200 meter water resistance and you close it up it's a nice firm closing too so to me it's got a very classic look i prefer the styles that they have now where you can just open it up on the sides with the two buttons but this is actually easier to size because it also has the micro adjustments here as well so the bezel is fixed, and they used a black polished ceramic, really nice finish to it, and the tachymeter on the, uh, it's etched in white around the uh, center name, all the way around from the 2 o'clock all the way to the 11 o'clock, and then the dots that go up to the 12 o'clock. The dial is a really nice gray finish. It's a sunburst style dial. Um, it's got the Tag Heuer logo on the right side. Next to the date, it's a white dial with the black writing. And then you have Formula One above that, and then the Caliber 16, which signifies the movement below that. Another thing that really attracted me to this watch is you have a black rhodium plated sub dial on the top at the 12 o'clock. And then I really like these sub dials on the six o'clock and the nine o'clock. They really, they really pop. Along with that, there's a fire engine red on the indexes, on the chrono hand, and then the tips of the six o'clock and the 12 o'clock sub dials as well. So it's, as you can see there. So it's a really attractive watch. It's thick. If you look at the crown, it's signed with the Tag Heuer logo and then the pushers. It's kind of got a double depth type of a crown. It is a screw down crown. I mentioned earlier, it's 200 meter water resistance. So it does screw down. And then, of course, you have the pushers with a little red accent there on the two o'clock pusher. So the Caliber 16, it is an automatic chronograph self-winding movement. It's the Tag Heuer decorated. It's basically an ETA 7750 movement with 25 joules. It beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour with a 42-hour power reserve. 
Using the chronograph, all you have to do is push the red button on the top here, and that gets the chronograph hand moving. And then the subdials move as the timing goes. To stop it, you just press the button again, and you can restart it, stop it, and then you press the bottom button here, and that resets everything. All the hands to the 12 o'clock, everything is lined up really nice. And going into how you would set the watch, it's real easy. You just unscrew the crown. And at the first setting, once you feel it click out, that's where you would wind it. You pull it out the one spot, and that would change the date. You pull it out the second spot, and that would change the time. So the time is real easy. It does hack, so you'll notice that the second hand stops. Push it back in, and that's it. Always remember when you're screwing these back in, just wind it backwards until you hear it click in, so this way you don't cross-thread anything. And once you wind it in, you're good to go. All right, so just to wrap this up, I want to uh, once again thank you very much for your support. You guys have been fantastic over the years. So please, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my videos. And if you hit the bell, it'll notify you of future video reviews that I'm going to be putting out. And I'm going to be putting a lot out uh, during the course of this next couple of months. I want to thank Alicia Jewelers for treating me extremely well uh, during the transaction to get this watch out to me so quickly. Sam was an absolute pleasure. You can find a lot of different brands, including Tag Heuer and pre-owned watches on their website. I will put that information in the description of this video. You can also find me on Twitter at Doug FNJ. I always put up new notifications when I'm putting videos out as well. And you can find me at watchyouseek.com. Go over to the Tag Hoyer section, say hello. I'm the moderator at that group. And you can also find many different brands and great discussion on watches. So once again, thank you so much for your support. Stay safe out there and you have a great day.